Of course, sa ating mga topic for today, Science 8 ay classifying and naming organisms. That is by Tudor Markey. Ayan, so take uh, so thank you very much, Tutor Isi. Ito pang napakagandang introduction. And of course, ang ating uh, gagamitin or ginagamit ng module as a reference for our session this afternoon. And of course, syempre, ang Science 8 Quarter 4 Module 4 na entitled Classifying and Naming Organisms, Kingdom uh, uh, RK Bacteria, Eubacteria uh, prota protis, protis and Phone mm -hmm. guy. So ito po ay galing sa Schools Division of Bulacan. So ayan yes. sa mga taga Bulacan. So thank you very much sa ating writers. So si Ma Michelle Sanchez, Kimberly Liobo, Jennifer Rivera, Dangeline Geraldo, and Ma'am Christine May Cruz. And thank you very much sa ating development team of this module. Ayan! So si Chitter C, ano naman ang ating most essential learning competency? Yes, for our most essential learning competencies, for week four, of course, i-classify natin ang organisms using the hierarchical taxonomic system and explain the concept of a species. Ayan, so thank you very much, Tutor Isi. And for our learning learning goals, okay, first one is to recognize the importance of biodiversity, define, taxo define taxonomy, and uh, lastly is to identify the classification of organisms based on certain characteristics. Yes. And exactly. for that, yeah, so what I what I need to know, of course, we hear, here are the reminders. So, Tutor Isi, ako muna po mauna. So, the first one is to take the pretest prepared at the start of the module. Take time in reading and understanding the lesson and follow instructions carefully. Third one is to use a clean sheet of paper or just comment on your uh, comment section for answers for each activity or assessment. And lastly, try to recall and connect the ideas that you had in the lower years. For the following, for the follow-up uh, reminder, here is Tutor C. Yes, try to recall. Like, iba pala yung call. Okay. <laughs> All right. Don't, don't hesitate to ask. Of course, syempre, dapat maintindihan class. So if you're uh, confused, magtanong lang. Be honest when doing the activities. Record only what you have really observed. Take the post test para alam natin kung hanggang saan na natutunan at ano ang i-remedial natin. And check your answers, of course, sa self-assessment and post test. Junior Margie? Ayan. So, damo na damo na nag-gets na natin na ating grade 8 learners. Siyempre, ready-ready na sa ating online. And of course, bago ang lahat, here are the recognition at stakes. Siyempre, meron tayong mahusay chuti, faster thinker chuti, Saitastic duty, mahusay teacher, and of course, mahusay school. So talaga namang yes. uh, aabangan natin yung tutorial sa ating recognition. Siyempre, fourth quarter na sino-sino ba, ano-anong mga school, o sino ba yung mga teachers na talagang hanggang dulo ay nanonood sa atin at nakikipag-participate. Right, Tutor C? Yes, Tutor yes. Marky, kumbaga dati weekly yan eh, pero this yes. time, dahil nasa fourth, kumbaga last lap na tayo, tingnan natin yes. yung talagang matatag na kasama natin araw-araw sa pandang dulo. <laughs> okay, sino ba yung may mga pamaiti band na talagang kapit na kapit sa atin? Okay, talagang virtual hug tayo kahit di tayo ng mga kakasama. Siyempre, dito lang tayo, tutor, si nakakapag-usap, nakakapagtarong tayo ng ba, uh, uh, communications sa ating itulay. And of course, siyempre, mm -hmm. sa gaya ng okay. reminders na nabanggit namin kanina, we're going to take the pretest. So, the directions are read each question carefully, choose the letter of the correct answer, use a separate sheet of paper for your answers or comment it down. So just like just this, like all right? Yes. So, Tutor C, take it over, the first question. Yes, so grade uh, 8, ang uh, ating unang question para sa ating pretest. He developed the modern taxonomic system. So sino ba ito? Si A, Albert Einstein ba yan? B, Carlos Linnaeus? C. Si Charles Darwin or C. Si D. Ernest Rutherford. So, syempre, oh. pretest, hindi ko medyo ano, nalilito ako ng konti. Kunwari. <laughs> okay. Tura Marky, bago siya matumalon, Stella Maris Lapos, sabi niya, letter B daw siya. Mark Lesser, letter B. Antrix siya, Valenzuela, B rin siya. Pero pagdating kay Charles Daniel Ganoy, letter A. And Stella Maris, letter B. How about on your end, Tura Marky? Ayan, so I have here uh, Beverly Lungaya, letter B, ang kanyang answer. Aaron S. S. Milo, Aaron A. Milo, letter B. Rain Eugenio, letter B. Kimberly Manias, letter B. Monique, ayan, umakit na si Monique, letter B din ang answer yes. niya. Alright, so Mary Rose Santos, letter D naman ang kanyang sagot. So let's reveal now the answer for our pretest question number one. 
the one who developed the modern taxonomy system is letter B, Ayan, Carlos Linnaeus. Again, Jay, ako sa camera ko, hindi na ulinan ang dating. <laughs> wow! Para namang napaganda ang lighting mo dyan, Chuter, si Wa. Kasi ako naiwan, naiwan ko sa school ang aking ring light. Kaya naman medyo madilim-dilim ako dito. All right, for our question number two, let's move on. So, how are group of organisms rank? So, paano ba sila nirarank? So, is it letter A, highest to lowest? Letter B, increasing to decreasing? Letter C, largest to smallest? Or letter D, largest smallest, smallest to largest. All right. So, ayan. So, hello po. Ayan, no? Talaga namang, uh, comment lang ng comment. Of course, huwag natin kakalimutang mag-share sa ating online session. Huwag natin kalimutan. Hindi lang po tayo answer ng answer. Share din tayo ng share. Para siyempre, yes. the more, the merrier. Mas masaya, di ba? So, ang ating tutorial okay. sa akin, nakikita ko dito si um, Stera Malis. Stella Madislapos, letter D ang kanyang answer. Si Justin Layug naman ay letter B. Jamela Castro Osdanya, letter D. Aliza Nicole Sawa, letter A naman yung kanya. Daisy Santos La Cruz, letter A. Laika Galang Pagdangala, letter A. Kimberly Maningas, letter A. Sa inyo po, Chitor C? Yes, I'm not sure kung nabasa mo na to, Chitor Marky. Marian Sheen, Eugenio, letter A, ah, number one siya. Si Rain Eugenio is letter D. Aldrin Mark Pulayan, Uh, nasa number one pa rin siya. So, that's basically it on my end, Tudor Marky. Alright. So, let's now uh, reveal our answer in question number two. The answer is letter C. Ding, 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 largest ding, ding. to smallest. So, yes. Largest to smallest pala yan. Okay. For Tudor C, for question number three. Yes. For question number three, for any organism to be identified, a blank is given. A, ancient name ba yan? B, full name? C, scientific name? Or D, surname? Para sa mga organism na mabibigyan ng pangalan, ano Ayan. ang ibibigay sa kanya? Alright, so, A, B, C, or D? Ayan. So, okay lang yan, Ezekiel Loreto. Parang may, ay, mali, gumanan siya. Si Beverly <laughs> naman, ouch, oh, di ba? May, may pag, oh, may, pa, may kurot na... Uh, nadarama si Beverly. Hello, Jan yes. Beverly. Kamusta po sa mga taga Isabela na talagang tumu uh, sumusubaybay sa atin? Hello po. Talagang school dyan ay Ramon National High School talaga. Up to now ay talagang kapit na kapit. So, hello po. So, dito, Tutor C. Nakikita ko dito si Charles Daniel Ganoy. Letter D ang kanyang answer. Jessica mm -hmm. Pasual. Letter C. Um, Jan uh, Janelle uh, Trinyanes. Letter C. Kimberly Malingas. Letter C. Aidan. Mm -hmm. Uh, Daipu Yart Letter yeah, C yeah. Ayan So yun po Si Stella Maris Tapos si Ma'am Nenita Martin Tolentino Hello ma'am Hello po Letter C siya Justin Rosal Layog Letter B Ayan So now let's What is our answer For question number 3 The answer is Letter C Scientific name Ayan yes. Kung baga naalala ko Naalala ko dito Tutor C Yung pera o ba yung Okay. Kung naalala mo ba yun, o yung kapanahonan, well, kapanahonan, yung game show talaga naman, pati scientific name, sinasama sa kanilang yes. question. So, kapanahonan nila. Yan nila. Okay. So, now, so comment your answers and good job sa ating mga, sa inyong try. Hello po kay Ma'am Ninita Martin. Hello, hello po mga tutors. Hello, hello din po Ma'am Ninita. Ayan. So, ngayon si Ezekiel, nag-yes na siya. Ay, Chutray, si kanina, no? That's correct, that's correct. Ayan, so... Oo, naman, kahit magkamali tayo, ang mahalaga ay nag, natututo tayo ng continuously. Yung numbers, yes. pwedeng magbago yan. Ayan, si Sir Mark Lester, perfect three. O, di ba? Hello po, congrats yes, naman, Mark. sir. Hello po, Sir Mark. Ayan, so let's now uh, start our discussion for this afternoon. Hmm. All right, so... I'll, I'll be giving you uh, this particular picture. So, based on the picture, so, tulungan natin si Tutor C, okay? Grade 8 Bala. learners, okay? Ano ba yung mga na, uh, familiar kayo nakikita dyan sa picture? Pakicomment nga po. Ayan. So, tingnan nga natin yung mga pictures. Kung ako, ah, syempre, ako gumawa ng PowerPoint, kaya alam ko kung sino yung mga, ano, ano yung mga to. But then, grade 8 learners, tulungan natin si Tutor si mamaya i-identify niya kung ano, ano yung mga, uh, kung paano yung mga familiar plants niya or animals yes. ba yung nakita niya sa picture. So, ang organism, Tutor Marky, para magkaroon sila ng idea, kasama yes, yung po. mga plants. Yes po, Tutor C. Hindi yung animals. Yes. Uh -oh. So, may... 
Ako dito may nakikita na ako, talagang tinulungan nila talaga si Tutor. Sino si sabi dito may mga Tarshir, merong yeah. Nature, Kalikasan. Nakalimutan ko na yung usa natin eh. Pagkagalo <laughs> ko Yes. Ayan, may deer with a question mark. O, oh, diba? So, ito na kinumpleto na ni Aidan. Si Earth, Tarshir, Deer, Coral, Leaf, Swamps. O, oh, diba? So, parang yeah. na, na, nagkaroon na si, si, ano ah, sino ba yun? Si, ng idea. O, pinerfect oh. niya na kung ano yung mga nakalagay. Oh, so, si ano. Aidan. Hello, Aidan. Oh, thank you very much. So, kaya lang may question mark pa siya. Pero okay lang din yan. Kasi mm. nag, nag-guess pa siya. Ayan. So, siguro, Tutor C, natulungan na tayo ni Aidan. Ano? Yes. So, I-insert ko lang to Tutor Marky. Sabi ni Ma'am yes, Nenita, different organisms, group of organisms, they, uh, depende sa different habitats daw. Yes, very good. Thank you very yeah. much, Ma'am Ninita. At talagang si Ma'am Ninita ay uh, tinutulungan niya rin tayo mga tutors dito sa pagpapabigay uh, ng information sa ating mga grade 8 learners. Thank you, Ma'am Ninita. Talaga namang good job na good job talaga si Ma'am Ninita. And for that, so yamal na banggit ni uh, Ma'am Ninita, it is a group of different uh, group of different organisms in a certain uh, place. So And that is what we call biodiversity. Bio-day. Wow. Okay, biodiversity. And of course, syempre, na nilagay ko dyan, Tutor, si yung uh, Philippines and our very own planet. It is because our uh, Philippines is uh, good or very good tayo. It is one of the most, uh, tawag dito, diverse. Pinakam, uh, diverse or kumbaga, uh, mataas yung percentage mm-hmm. ng magandang biodiversity natin. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Sabi nga ni, ang ating uh, direct, sabi nga, samot saring buhay. Ayan. Thank yes. you very much po. At may pa-in, pa-insert, pa-insert pa talaga si sa ating si at si, si direct sa atin. And of course, syempre yaman din naman ang biodiversity. It is something that it is sabi nga nina, is variety of plants, animals and microorganisms and even the bacteria. Kumbaga, lahat tayo ay parte ng isang biodiversity. So, mm-hmm. it describes the different kinds of ecosystems and habitats that occurs in, just like for example, deserts, in the forests, wetlands, mountains, lakes, rivers, places, and where we grow crops of food. In yes. short, so to see, uh, lahat tayo ay nabubuhay or parte ng isang biodiversity, right? So, to see. Yes, yes. so kumbaga, uh, kailangan din natin ang biodiversity at kailangan din tayo ng biodiversity. So, meaning to say, talagang may connection tayo, dalawa, may connection tayo sa biodiversity. So, kailangan natin din natin siyang pangalagaan. So, ano ba yung mga uh, nabibigay na advantage ng isang magandang biodiversity? Siyempre, dahil nga sabi natin kanina, ito ay interconnected tayo uh, with the biodiversity, ito yung nagko-provide din sa atin ng mga pangangailangan natin bilang isang tao. So, ibig sabihin, yes. uh, kailangan din natin pangalagaan ang, ang, ang environment which is part doon ay yung biodiversity. So, syempre, ano ba yung mga napapakinabangan natin? So, pag, uh, yung pagkain natin, okay, yung mga nasa paligid natin. So, and even even sa atin, yung mga, may mga papers tayo, so, yung mga papel na ginagamit natin, it is also a product of a good bio- biodiversity kasi nagagaling yan sa ating mga puno. And so, Tutor C, meron po bang ano si, ayan. Ano ang Tutor C? Ano yung nabanggit ni Ani Direk sa atin? Si parang Direk? Gusto kong, oo, <laughs> may, parang gusto kong mag, uh, ano, Ayan ang mag, bagay ay magkaugnay. Ay magkaugnay, yes. Magkaugnay ang lahat. So, I mean to say, sabi nga, tama nga si Direk. So, we are all interconnected. So, ibig sabihin, yes. kapag naapektuhan yung isa, maapektuhan din tayo, di ba? Ngayon, kaya ngayon, Tutor C, medyo nararamdaman natin, per, pero uh, kahit na summer, pero nagkakaroon tayo ng uh, tag-ulan or rainy season. Mm-hmm. Okay, di ba? Parang hindi, oh, uh, ano eh, nagkakapabago-bago na. So, ibig sabihin, it also, uh, tawag dito, in, in, at the bottom part, kailangan din natin ang uh, pangalagaan ng bawat isa. Ayan. That is correct. That is correct. Ayan. Kasi so, walang wala tutor marky para mabuo ang ating uh, ecosystem. Kailangan talaga natin ng iba-ibang uh, biosphere. Eh. Yung meron yes. tayo sa water, sa land, sa air. So ganun. Kaya hindi pwede masira ang isa dahil maaapektuhan yung iba. 
Yes, talaga naman. Okay, so kaya nga mag, mag-alagaan tayo, di ba? Yes. Wow. <laughs> okay, so may inabanggi dito si T. Marniel, 1.75 million species have been identified. Siguro nabanggit niya yon kasi it is also part of the biodiversity. So mm-hmm. dahil lang naman din nabanggit namin ni Chuter, you see, ang... Um, uh, Um, definition or even description regarding biodiversity. Grade 8 learners, so meron tayo ditong thumbs up tsaka thumbs down. So ngayon, so i-copy nyo or just simply uh, comment yung thumbs up and thumbs down kapag thumbs up kapag correct or sa tingin yung tama or thumbs down naman kapag uh, mali. Okay. Okay. From our first statement, Tutor Z. Ayan, gumagalaw yung Okay. First statement. <laughs> A rich biodiversity provides more food resources. All right? So ang rich daw na biodiversity nagbibigay ng maraming supply ng pagkain. Is it is that tama or is that wrong? Okay, right. stand by tayo. So nakita ko dito si Tracy si Stella Maris Lapus thumbs up daw. Okay, mm-hmm. as well as Jamela Osdanya, Aiden Day Puyark. Okay, uh, like ka galang pagdanganan, Janelle Kabil- Kabilin, okay, Janelle Bilingon, ayan. And Mary Rose Santos, ka Aaron Ace Milo, thumbs up. Ayan, talagang gets na gets nila. So the answer is thumbs up. Thumbs Correct. Up. Okay, for our second statement, pro, uh, protecting biodiversity avoids natural disasters. Mm-hmm. Disasters. Okay. Disasters. Protecting biodiversity avoids natural. Okay, sige, sige. Number two na po tayo para alam natin na meron tayong sinasagot. Okay, Janelle Kabilin, Tutor Marky, thumbs up siya sa number two. What else? Uh, all Who right. Else? Jerome Osdanya, thumbs up din siya. Number two, Beverly Joyce Lungayan, Marniel Kailus, Trill Ramos, Kristen Gale Santos. Hello, Kristen Gale. Uh, ikaw, Tutor Marky, mabilis na Ayan, si Kurt Furok. Ayan, hello, thumbs up. Leia De Vera, thumbs up din. Okay, uh, and Trisha Valenzuela, thumbs up. Double thumbs up pa yung kaya niya. Alright? So, the yes. our statement number two is, alright, approve, thumbs up. Ayan. Mm-hmm, Thank you very right. much. And for our third statement, I think it will be the last for this one. Chuter Z. Biodiversity supports medicinal resources only. Okay? Take note, biodiversity supports medicinal resources only. Okay, Stella Maris Lapos, Tutor Marky, I saw him, thumbs uh, her, thumbs down. Beverly Joyce as well, thumbs down. Janelle right. Kabili, uh, thumbs down. As well mm-hmm. as Chloe Viernes, Eliza Sawal, Marinel Ramos, Ezekiel Loreto. All right, so Ace Azarcon, super duper daming thumbs down. <laughs> All right, okay, kasi ang dami eh. All right, so for our third uh, statement, the answer is... Thumbs down. Kasi syempre, hindi lang naman medicinal resources. Gaya nung nabanggit ko kanina, even yung mga pangailangan natin sa bahay. Alright, so paper uh, production. Alright. Ito ay even our food. Okay, ito ay na, na, pinusuportahan ng ating biodiversity. Ayan, thank you very much sa ating grade 8 learners na sa inyong participation. And on that note, Ayan, Tutor C, yaman lang dami biodiversity ang pinag-uusapan na natin. Mm-hmm. At sa biodiversity ay maraming mga species, okay, or animals sa makita, right, Tutor C? And even anim- uh, plants, living mm-hmm. organisms, okay. Meron tayong isang tao na, sa pang- na ang pangalan niya ay Carlos Linnaeus. No kung mm-hmm. saan, si Carlos Linnaeus, is is ang Swedish botanist botanist okay the one who studies uh plants develop yes. a modern taxonomic system of classifying organisms mm-hmm. so ibig sabihin sabi niya ang dami na nating mga organisms sa ating biodiversity bakit uh, kailangan na natin siyang uh, i-order okay karon i-organize thank you thank you very much Sir Tracy oh ni karon tayo ng system of classifying those organisms at doon po nagkaroon ng tinatawag na taxonomy So it is came from a Greek word taxis meaning arrangement and nomos means method. So a method of arranging Arrange. or classifying the organism. So he is Carolus Linnaeus. Ayan, yes. you see. According so, to Stella Maris Lapus, siya daw ang nag-arrange ng system of classification from general to specific tulad na nakikita natin ngayon doon. 
Alright, so thank you very much. So, sabi nga dito, Tutor, you see, tama siya. So, in general to specific, so it is in a hierarchy of groups for taxonomy. Kung baga, level by level, Tutor, you see. Sabi nga kanina sa question natin, di ba? From, sabi nga kanina, kinaklasify siya from domains, at yung domains yung pinaka ma, uh, malaki, yes. o malawak rather. So, mm -hmm. and then down to the to a, to a kingdom, next to, to a kingdom, Tutor, you see, I... Uh, this is Pydum. Kung tama nakikita ko, class. Yes, uh, malabo na yung iba, Tutor Marky. Uh, Alright po, after yung class, after class, so kapag uh, in-arrange pa natin siya, mas pinaliit pa natin, it is in order. Next okay. order is a family. So uh -huh. after the family is a genus. And lastly is the species. So meaning to say, naka-arrange siya in order of classifying. So meaning to say, from general to specific, tama nga yung binanggit natin ng isang ang ating uh, uh, student kanina. So from general, domain, yung pinakamalawak, and then species, which is the most specific uh, classification of our organism. So, uh, to three, Marie, that was yes, po. Ano po? Right. Si Stella Maris yun, a regular natin. Ah, so, Alright, uh, according to Stella. Thank you very much, Stella Maris. So, ay, ayan. So, dahil dito, so, sabi nga, Tutor, see, kapag, ang or, kapag inong order ng or yung hierarchy ba na to, kapag nabago yung uh, position, like for example, nagpalit yung order tsaka class, okay lang? Ah, uh, nope. Nope. Hindi pwede. Ayan. So, tama oh, si Tutor C. Kasi, so, Tutor Marky and grade 8, ano yan? Yung kumbaga, um, magiging specific sila pababa. So, hindi mo pwedeng pagbalik ta rin. Ayan. Thank you very much, Tutor C. Yes, yes correct. Tama si Tutor C. Kasi kaya, kaya sabi, ang ginawa ni Carlos Tuneus, pro in order na talaga siya, hindi siya pwedeng magkabali-balik ta. Yes. And Ayan. Tutor Marky, may standby lang tayo dito ang question na, na, na doon sa nagtanong, sasagutin ni Tutor Marky, ano daw yung pylum? So mamaya masasagot siguro. All right. yes, so exactly. mamaya masasagot natin yung phylum. Ayan. So ah yes. uh, ayan, in hierarchical order. So now hmm. let's move on. So syempre dahil diyan, so here is a table of uh, sample classification of organisms. So ito ay kung makita nyo sa pinaka leftmost part ng ating table, ito yung category kanina na pinakita ko kanina. Pinakita ko na kanina na, ganiwa, na ginawa ni Carlos Sinegus from uh, hindi lang nakalagay dito yung uh, domain. So, from kingdom up to species. So, as you can see class here, so, since the topmost, it is, uh, those are the general uh, general names. So, domestic cat, dog, bangus, wolf, and lion. So, under them, uh, yung pangalan nila or yung classification nung kanilang uh, species in terms dun sa kingdom, sa phylum, class, order, family, genus, and also the species. So, kung mapapansin nyo po dito, di ba, kung ano yung phylum ni domestic cat, ni dog, ni the bangus, ni wolf, and ni lion, which is chordata, pare-parehas lang. As well as yung kingdom nila, okay, dun sa cat and dog, yung class naman nila is mamalia, as well as wolf and lion. So, in short, uh, grade 8 learners, dito sa, pagka, sa pagkakaayos, o oh nga, inayos nga yung, uh, or, yung, or, yung order ng hierarchy ng mga organisms, pero yung, panga, yung, yung uh, grupo na kinabibilangan ng species nila ay nagkakapare-parehas. That's why, para hindi tayo malito dun sa mga pagpapangalan ng mga organisms na yon, doon po nabuo yung tinatawag nating scientific name, common names, and also the binomial names. Diba, Tutor C? So, yes. ang alam ko, uh, so, and Tutor C, yung scientific name, so, lahat ng mga bagay or lahat ng organisms na meron tayo is they have their own scientific name. So, kung baga, manaalala ko pa ngayon, Tutor C, it depends on the, kung sino yung uh, nakadiscubre, ginagawa mm -hmm. ng scientific name, kung sino din yung, uh, uh, kung saan lugar, kung saan lugar uh, na diskubre yung particular na organism na yon. So, in this case, Tutor C, ang scientific name daw ay nahahatid sa dalawa. So, the first mm -hmm. one is the genus, yung unang part niya. Ito ay laging capital letter, nag mm -hmm. capitalized. And the other one is the species epithet. So, it is written in ital italics. Kung makikita nyo po dito, Tutor C, dun sa pinakailalim na part, di ba, naka-italized siya. Mm -hmm. So, ito yung gagamitin mamaya 
natin, kung bibigyan tayo ng example, kung paano ba sinusulat yung scientific name ng isang organism. So, next one is the common name. So, it is locally, uh, used locally and may vary by region or country. So, meaning to say, ito yung madalas po natin, Chuter C, na napapangalanan sa isang particular na organism. So, bangus, mm-hmm. wolf, lion, plants, ay, uh, gumamela, something like that. And when we talk about binomial names, binomial 2, or we consist of genus names and specific epithet. So, bigyan ko na example. So, first one we have here, first is the common name of uh, domestic cat. So, ang binomial name niya, Chuter C.I. Common, common binomial name? Yes po, Tutor Z. Uh, that's genus Felis. Tama ba? Yes po. Uh-huh. Ang, uh, ang, ang, spe- ang species naman po niya ay? Catus. Kung natama Ayan. na babasa po, Tutor Z. Yes. yes po, Tutor Z. So meaning to say, binomial, dalawa yung name niya. Ang genus, ang um, domestic uh, cat ay ang genus niya is Felis. Okay, so ang kanyang uh, species ay catus. So yes. pagdating ng scientific name, pagsasamahin yung yung uh, dalawang name which is the Felis catus. Ayan. Yes. So in short, ang ang scientific name ng domestic cat is Felis cat. All right. So we have here also other examples like for example the dog. So the common name is dog. Ang ating binomial mm-hmm. name is its genus is Canis, its species is Familiaris. So, therefore, its scientific name is, pag pinagsama, Canis Familiaris. Alright. So, even as human, ay meron tayong uh, uh, common name. So, human, ang binomial name niya is Homo and Sapien. So, therefore, ang ating scientific name, ano kaya? Okay? Ang ating scientific name ay, okay, Homo, Homo Sapien. Sapien. Ayan. So, ayan. So, in short, we are all done. So, laging tandaan, yung unang uh, word ng ating scientific name, yung unang word niya is always in scientific, uh, in, in capitalized. Capital. Alright, so capital letter. So, pag pinagsama siya, in scientific name, it must be uh, italic or italized. Alright, yes. so yun ang, ayan, so thank you very much sa ating grade 8 learners na nagko-comment pa, nagko-comment ang ating mga scientific name ng uh, human. Ayan, thank you very much. So, Next po, now we will move on to the kingdom. So dahil mas madami, medyo malawak sa Tutor C. Okay, mm-hmm. titignan ko yung oras kaya medyo mamadali na ng konti. Okay, ng, kon- ng konti. So first one, Tutor C, ito medyo mahirap. Kanina nga, uh, pinapractice ko na kung paano banggitin yung mga terms na na to. <laughs> Siyempre, so the first one is the kingdom arc E, ano? Archaebacteria. Archaebacteria. Okay. Alright. So, for this, Tutor C, ano po ulit ang listing, ang description ng Kingdom Archaebacteria? Okay. Ito ay group of single-celled organisms that are ane- anaerobic as well as aerobic prokaryotes. Tama ba? This yes, bacteria can be various places some even extreme environmental conditions like near volcanic activity. Uh, bottom line nito, Tutor Marky, is that this is a single cell organism. Napaka-basic sa lahat ng basic. Yes. So, tama si Tutor C. So, of all the ma- na pag-uusapan natin mga kingdom, when we talk about the RK bacteria, so it is hmm. a single cell organism, just like that. Yes. So, Kasi hindi na siya lalampas doon. Tayo ay multi-cell tayo eh. Ito single cell lang siya. All right, thank you very much, Tutor C. And also, this particular kingdom archaebacteria Arche- has three classifications. So we have methano- methanogens, we have halophiles, and thermophiles. So the first one is uh, methanogen. So it exhibits places where there is no oxygen. Mm-hmm. So they produce methane gas. All right. Kung baga, itong particular na bacteria na to, Tutor C, na, na present siya kung tayo ay nasa bukiran, so may mga dayami, di ba nung bata tayo kapag nag, mm-hmm. ano, nag, ano tawag dito, may mga to yung day, dayami, tawa ba? Yung mm-hmm. mga, uh, okay. yung suma, sa palay, to, 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 to yung palay, di ba nagbabacktide-backtide mm-hmm. tayo, nagpa-tumbling-tumbling. So kung baka may naaamoy tayong parang uh, methane gas. Okay. It is because there is a presence of methanogens. 
Kumbaga, yes. ay, okay. So, the next one is the halophiles. So, ito yung itsura mm-hmm. niya. So, they live in areas where the con- concentration of salt is very high. So, yes. sabi- meaning to say, so, syempre, the more yung mas madaming salt or the more mas maalat or concentration ng salt ang meron isang organism, therefore, may presence siya ng uh, halophiles. And lastly, we have the thermophiles. Uh, they are organisms that can survive in extreme high temperature and low pH. So, kumbaga, of all the classify, classification of kingdom archaebacteria, see therm, thermophiles, from its name, thermo, heat, pwede siyang mag-survive sa pinakamataas na, high, na temperature, even buhay pa siya kahit 100 degrees Celsius na tutor C, yes. or uh, even, the, uh, yeah, so kung ito ay nakikinig 100 degrees Celsius, buhay pa itong sa thermophiles. So, tandaan mm-hmm. lang, thermophiles, parang thermos, mainit thermophiles. Okay, it can survive extreme time. And napansin natin, Tudor Marky, dito sa tatlong grupong ito, these are uh, organisms na extreme. Yes, diba? po. Lahat ng areas na extreme, no oxygen, super salty, at saka super hot, kayang-kaya nila. Okay, kumbaga, ano to mga batikan, batikan so, so mga lahat ng bagay, itong mga nasa kingdom yes, archaebacteria. Alright, so, what's next? The second one is kingdom eubacteria. Mm-hmm. Alright. So, mostly, okay, found on organisms in the world. So, kumbaga, uh, mas, madal, mas madali silang makita or uh, ma-identify. So, they are unicellular. So, meaning to say isa lang. And macroscopic. They're also known as true bacteria and are present in, in almost uh, surfaces. Yes. Dahil, dahil present siya in all sur- surfaces, even uh, inside our body. Kasi nga, uh, mm-hmm. both living and non-living things, meron tayong uh, eubacteria or present ito. So, they are present sa skin natin, sa nostrils, sa mouth, sa gums, okay, it's between our teeth and even in a large intestine. So, meaning to say, our body has its uh, eubacteria. Yes. All right. And insert ko lang, Tutor Marky, na dito sa kingdom eubacteria, ah, uh, Pagkakaiba nila, yung kanina ay extreme, eto naman yes, ay mga ordinary. Yes po, Tutor. Sa kung saan, okay, kung baga, uh, nasa laylayan. <laughs> okay, makikita na, wala nila silang makita. And of course, syempre, yung nas, under the kingdom, yung bacteria, okay, makaklassify natin siya according sa shape para mas madali. So, sa shape, sa itsura niya. So, ito yung mga mm-hmm. example kung makikita natin. Tutor, si meron tayong spiral or yung parang uh, ano tawag ano is other term for spiral tutor si yung medyo pabilog na paikot oh, okay yung, or coma shape yes po tutor si and the other one is rod rod shape pahaba. rod okay pahaba and the last one is round or spherical spherical in shape. pabilog so lagi like tandaan grade 8 learners kingdom you bacteria they are classified according to their shape, shape. Right, yes. ang daling tandaan ang daling tandaan no <laughs> Talagang mahaba to tutor si actually kaya medyo oh, oh, uh, yeah, binabawan ko na lang ng konti. Kasi oh, yeah. nga short oh. syempre tutor si ang ating mga grade 8 learners mayroon naman din silang modules na hawak mm-hmm. and ayun Kung baga, na, mas... overview naman eh. At saka yes, so. madali siyang intindihin. Kanina mga extreme ngayon naman mga common tapos classified based on shape. How ayan, about ayan, protis ch- naman? Okay, si protis naman tutor si ayan. So, they are known as the artificial grouping. So, bakit natin sinabing artificial? Kasi iba-iba sila ng, ano eh, ng itsura sa bawat isa. Although mm-hmm. they are part of a certain kingdom, kumbaga iba-iba ng uh, sizes, yung movement, even yung movement mm-hmm. nila, and even yung method kung paano sila nagigain ng energy, iba-iba. Yes. So, they are groups of all the Ukraine eukaryotes that are not fungi, animals or plants, they look very different from each other. Gaya nung ipinakikita natin sa screen, merong mga parang dahon, iba parang corals, iba yung parang palay, so on and so forth. So dito, tutor C, ay uh, meron tayong uh, uh, classification. So una na dyan si phototrops. Okay, so photo, ayan nga, marami na rin mataan, parang picture-picture lang. They are they are uh, a classif- one of the classifications of kingdom photos wherein they produce their own food. Wow, sana all, di ba? Hindi na pinagihirapan. So it has a, a different examples. First one is si dino, uh, dino flag- flagellates. flagellates. 
Okay, mostly they are found in the oceans and sea. So, ibig sabihin, Chuter Sea, kumbaga kung tayo ay mahihilig sa tahong, di ba, Chuter mm-hmm. Sea? Okay, tapos kapag may nabalita tayo sa sa TV, okay, uh, na, okay, ito ay may ngayong red tide, red tide. Okay, kasi ibig sabihin, there is a certain bacteria present on that particular tahong, which is the dinophalad. Ano to? <laughs> Dinoflagellites. Ayan. So, yun yung nagpapa uh, uh, harmful nung kinakain natin since they are mostly found in the oceans and seas. Kaya, kayo, mga grade 8 learners, kapag kakain ng tahong, yung mga mahilig sa tahong, although it is rich in iron then okay, and iodine of course, ay siyempre, ingat lang din tayo kung pakinig yes. tayo sa balita kasi baka may presence na siya ng, ng protis na itong example. Mm-hmm. Alright, so our second one, second example is the urogenoids. So they are exhibit fresh water uh, body. So kung kanina, yung yes, yung example natin is mostly matagpuan sa oceans and seas dito sa fresh water naman. Yes. And when and, you say fresh water, river, lake, lakes, ponds, yes. yung mga ganun. Alright, yes, correct, Chuter C. So, kumbaga, common din natin, common din natin ito nakikita. Et, ito pa yung mas common, Chuter C. Ito yung algae. Ay, yes. Alright, so, kung makikita nyo, Chuter C, it, 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 uh, it's big features, yung physical features niya. It has different colors. Kung sa paan, yung grade 8 learners natin ay mas, maano pa nila tawag dito, mas, ay oo nga, ano, ganun yung itsura niya. May makikita tayong kulay green, kulay brown, okay, kulay red. Okay, kung baga, kung, di ba, nabalitaan natin yung si sa Boracay, yung mga nag-swimming, okay, yes. mayroong mga algae silang nakikita, yung kulay green. That particular algae, okay, is part of the kingdom protest. Alright, so, ayan, nakikita ko naman. May mga comments. algae rin sa dagat na umiilaw, Tutor Marky. Or yes, <laughs> opo. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, Tutor, you see. So, siyempre, yung those uh, different uh, um, colors of a certain algae, since they are classified with their colors, they also have their own uh, uh, classi- uh, description. So, so mga green algae naman, they are diverse in size and shape. Commonly, green yung nakikita natin sa sapa, yung mga yes. lumot-lumot, Tutor, you see, sa dagat. So, we talk about golden algae, they are the one who stores food as oil. Kung yes. baga kapag uh, din, uh, tinontrack natin tong uh, algae na to, nagpo-produce siya ng oil. And next one is uh, brown algae, which are mostly macroscopic. Ito yung tutor siya yung nakikita natin sa tabing dagat mm-hmm. or sa seashore. Okay, yung medyo, uh, brown, uh, medyo brown or brown algae. And lastly, yung red algae, uh, they are uh, multicellular. multicellular. So in short, ito, yung, yung red algae, medyo hindi natin masyadong, hindi siya common. Unlike hmm. yung sa other uh, three na nabanggit natin kanina. Yes. And also, right. Kate, if you are talking about macro- macroscopic, ibig sabihin nakikita ng ating mga mata. Hindi na kailangan ng microscope. Yes, thank you very much, Shooter C. And last but not the least, syempre, ang fungi, Shooter C. Paan? Okay, so a fungi is a kingdom of heterotrophic single-celled, okay, single-celled or multi-nucleated nucleated or multicellular organism. So fungi cannot uh, produce their own food because they have no chlorophyll, unlike mm-hmm. the other one kanina. So siyempre yung fungi, best example natin, Chuter C, itong, anong Tagalog, anong Tagalog nito, Chuter C? Uh, yeah, there's a picture. Mga yes, Ayun, kabote. So, a kabote. Um, is, uh, mga ganun. <laughs> <laughs> Siyempre, hindi naman, not all the kabote ay nakakain. Okay. Diba? Siyempre, may iba ay talaga namang, siyempre, it's part of the, uh, may mga bakteriya o may mga nakakalason. Ayan. Yes. So, yung, nabanggit nga ni Ma'am Nenita, green algae are, ayan, lumagpas na. Okay, <laughs> hindi ko na nakita. Sayang naman. Ayan, green algae are the most familiar kind among the housewives because they serve as salad. O, di ba? May, pa, may pa-trivia pa si Ma'am Ninita. Alright, alright. So, so, now, now, now. So, alright. So, ayan. So, dito. So, ang ating... Uh, for, kaya kaya natin ito, Tutor C. Okay. So, the directions mm-hmm. arrange the organisms to their hierarchical taxonomy. Remember that organisms are ranked from the largest to the smallest group. Write the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 on the space provided to know the code. So, we have here 
uh, the different uh, classifications of organisms. So all we need to do is to arrange them, okay? So according to their rank, so which is from uh, largest to the smallest group. All right. So siguro para mas mabilis tayo chutri si para mas mamaya is mas ma ma ano pa natin mas ma ano natin yung time natin. So first one siguro sa gutin natin chutri si okay. The mm-hmm. first one is the domain. The second one is the kingdom. Okay, the yes. third one is the phylum. Okay, pababa tayo. From general to specific, next one is the class. The fifth one is the order. Six is family. Seven is genus. And eight is species. So therefore, our code is 4167253 and 8. Alright? Chorisi, ayan. So ito ito medyo madali na in, in terms of scientific naming, Chorisi. Chorisi, our mm-hmm. directions... Yes, for the direction dito, mga grade 8, scientific naming, identify the organism by analyzing the given clues in each item. So, yung given clue ay itong ano, yung disorganized na, na di ba? Na letters. Ah. So, number one, gamit yun na sa baba, Artiodactyla sudei are highly consumable meat for most Filipinos. All right. So, kung mga tutor si this particular Arteodactyla sudei, this is a scientific name tutor si. So, all they okay. need to do is to identify uh kung uh, kanino bang scientific name yung binasa ni tutor si kanina based on the clues which is it is highly consumable meat for most Filipinos. So, here are the uh choices. So we have the carabao, the duck, the goat, and the pig. So should, so dito sa ating first uh, question, ano kaya kanino kayang uh, scientific name yung binanggit ni Tutor Z kanina, grade 8 mm-hmm. learners? Okay. Ah, okay. So na-confuse ako kasi bago. Basically, <laughs> right. tama yung words, pero hanapin natin yung animal or organism based on the given clue. And the clue is highly consumable meat for most Filipinos. All right. So ayun. So nakita ulit si Janelle Cabilin. Okay, pig daw si Lai Kagalang, pig Katleo Soriano, pig Christian Alvaro, pig din ang answer niya. So let's receive yes. now the answer med. Okay, kumbaga kung bibili ka sa tindahan gamit ang scientific name. Okay, pabili nga po ng isang kilong Arteodactyla sudei. Ayan. <laughs> So, kung bakang hampasin nga, charot lang. Okay, malalo ka pa sa yung tendera. So, so, in short, pig. Okay. Okay, thank you very much, Shuri C. And our, for our mm-hmm. second uh, uh, statement, we have, Bos Taurus are the most helpful domestic animals raised as dairy animals for milk and other dairy uh, products. So, this yes. Bos Taurus is the scientific name of what? Is it chicken? cow, horse, or a panda. Alright, so let's wait for our grade 8 learn. Ayan, tumawa pa si Beverly. Nabili yung joke ko kanina. Janel Kabili, si- sabi niya, tutor Marky, cow daw, cow. Ganun Ay. din si Kurt Axel Furok, Stella Maris Lapos, Angel Rose Nolasco, Lorenzo DRG, and last one on my end, Raven Manuel. Alright, is it you? <laughs> In short, Tagalog niya. Okay, okay. <laughs> The answer is si Boss Taurus ay cow. Ayan, very good grade 8 learners and our for our last. Okay, so Canis Familiaris. Ito para nabagit natin kanina, Tutor C. Have protective mm-hmm. instincts and uh, provide companionship to pet lovers. Is it mm-hmm. bird, cat, dog, or rabbit? Ayan, parang ako meron din akong ganito ni, ni, ni meron din akong Canis Familiaris eh. Talagang lagi na pampawala ng pagod natin yan. Ayan, yehey daw, sabi ni Ma'am Ninita. Ayan. So, sabi ni Kurt Furok, Tutor C, dito meron siyang dog. Si, uh, oh. si, ayan, si Janel Cabilin. Okay, si Marniel Ramos, dog den, Lorenzo D.R.G., dog. Alright, Jamela Os, ayan. Si, alright, and si Ma'am Ninita Tolentino, dog den ang answer niya. So, the answer is dog. Alright. Ayan, so right, medyo para din natin, uh, para din natin tutorial si, so true or false lang to. Mm-hmm. So, fungi undergo sexual and asexual reproduction. Is it true or false? The answer is true. True, right. yes, yes. So, the second one, okay. Uh, hype absorbs uh, 
and provides nutrients to the fungi? The answer is, all right, the answer is true. And true. for the last statement, fungi that feed on decaying pattern are called heterophyte. The answer yes. is false. All right, mm-hmm. so, ayan, tatlo lang po to, Tutor C. Let's move on to our assessment na. Okay, Tutor C, question number one po. Yes. For question number one, which of the following RK bacteria can live in places yun with high temperature? Daling matandaan, A, fungi, B, halophiles, C, metatnogens, and D, thermophiles. So, clue dyan is high temperature. Ayun, so, no? let's me see. Number one po tayo, ha? para hanapin natin dito. Uh, I'm not sure, Rolenzo, DRG, number one is letter D, sabi niya. Siguro pang, para dito yung tutor marquee. Ganun yes, din po. si... Abdul Rahman Bari, Jamela Castro Orsdanya, and Stella Maris Lapos. All right. So, so most of C. them answer to C C letter D. Thermophiles. Yes. Is it thermophiles? All right. Very good. Grade 8 learners, it's thermophiles. For the yes. question number 2, bacteria are classified according to which characteristic? Is it letter A, color, letter B, shape, letter C, size, or letter D, texture? All mm. right. Great eight learners, we are now on question number two of our uh, assessment. So, bacteria are classified according to their what? Okay, we are now on question number two. So, according to uh, Janelle Trinares, is it letter is it is letter B, shape. Mary Rose Santos, letter B also. Kurt Axel Furok, B, I think po. All right, mm-hmm. so Christine Rubio, letter B. James Chu, letter B. Leia Obiliano, letter B. Daisy Santos de la Cruz, letter B. So, bacteria are classified according to their shape. Very good grade 8 learners. And last, but not the least, Tutor Z. These are the largest in size of the algae species. A, brown algae ba yan? Ah, yung kanina. B, golden algae. Green algae sa letter C. Or D, green algae. Ito actually yung sinabi natin ng macroscopic na algae yes, kanina. Yung nakikita ng mata, hindi na kailangan ng microscope. Is it A, B, C, or D? Uh, Beverly Joyce Lungayan, tutor Marky, letter B, ang nakita ko, Cyril Alcantara as well. Si Cyril nga lang is letter C, ganun din si Luke David. Pagdating kay Ginger Alonso, letter B, at kay Laika Galang, letter C. Alright. So, what will be the correct answer? The answer is letter A, brown algae. Yes, yung makita natin sa tabing algae. Uh, dagat or seashore. Mm-hmm. All right, so comment your scores. Congratulations, grade 8 learners, and good job. For our side task for good. the week, okay, write a short essay about the lesson you have learned in this module using key facts and ideas. Use your own words the minimum of 50 to a maximum of 100 words. Write a short essay about the lesson uh, have learned to this. Ayan. So, so the um, hashtags that you're going to use are, the first one is hashtag organism, hashtag itolai science 8, and hashtag itolai level up. So grade 8 okay. screenshot nyo na itong site task for the week. Okay, so syempre yung mapipili namin dito ay i-announce namin sa ating uh, awarding ceremony or recognition day sa week 8. Ayan, so na picture na siguro na ating grade 8 learners, you see? And mm-hmm. of course, I am Twitter C. Yes, so that's it for today, class. Meron lang ako hinahanap sana pang follow up, mm-hmm. Tutor Marky, sa mga question nila nakita ko. But anyways, we will uh, follow this up next Monday. For for the meantime, for comments and suggestions, email us at edtech.debit.gov.ph. And up next, pagkatapos namin, Tutor Marky, our Tutor Kevin, and Tutor Van Dong for Science 9. This is once again Tutor Z from SD Torlock Province together with... I am Tutor Marky from SDO Bulacan saying sa agham, ikaw ang bida. So everyone, like and share this episode or this session. Yes, and for the meantime, Tutor Marky, class. Class, dismiss. Dismiss. <laughs>